Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here. Today we are doing lesson 12.8 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 12.8 is called Units of Time and we are learning about um, seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. If you're in my class, you should be looking at page 475 in your big book and filling it out as we go along. It says the analog clock, that's a clock like this that has hands, has an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand to measure time. On this clock right here, it says it's 4.30 and 12 seconds. It tells us that there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. The clocks below show the length of a second, a minute, and an hour. So a second start time is 3 o'clock. When one second elapses or goes by, it's now 3 o'clock in one second. One minute or 60 seconds elapses, so the second hand has made a full turn around the clock. The time is now 3.01. One hour or 60 minutes elapses or goes by, the minute hand has made a full turn clockwise. The time is now 4 o'clock. Okay, first example. How does the size of an hour compare to the size of a second? Well, let's fill this in. There are how many minutes in an hour? There are 60 minutes in an hour. It told us that right here. There are 60 seconds in a minute. It told us that right here. So in order to find out or to compare an hour to a second, we will do 60 times 60 which is, we can just do 6 times 6 and add two zeros. 6 times 6 is 36 and add two zeros. So 3,600 seconds. There are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So one hour is 3,600 times as long as one second. All right, let's go back up and fill this in just so we have the information. Are there more minutes or seconds in an hour? There's only 60 minutes in an hour, and we just found out that there's 3,600 seconds in an hour, so there are more seconds in an hour than there are minutes in an hour. Okay, we are going to flip the page over and do page 476. So here's page 476. We're just going to do example 2 at the top of 476. It says Larissa spent 2 hours on her science project. Cliff spent 200 minutes on his science project. Who spent more time? So in other words, they want us to change these hours into minutes in order to compare them. Now we already know that 1 hour is the same as 60 minutes. We have two hours, so we're going to have to do two times this 60 in order to figure out which one has more. All right, this table right here on mine, it's different than yours. I don't know why it's like that, but it should say instead of gallons and ounces, it should say hours and minutes, and this shouldn't say 128, it should say one hour is 60 minutes, two hours would be two times 60, which is 120 minutes, and then three hours, even though we don't really need to know this, we'll just fill it in anyway, three times 60 would be 180 minutes. So, two hours here, we said, was 120 minutes, and we're comparing that to 200 minutes. 
So the greater one is the 200 minutes. 120 is less than the 200 minutes. So if we go back up and look up here, this is Larissa's time for her project. And this is Cliff's time for his project. So Cliff spent more time on, more time than Larissa on the science project. So all we did here, just to recap, is the question up here was asking us to see which was greater, two hours or 200 minutes. So we converted the hours into minutes in order to compare. We did that by using the information that we knew, one hour equals 60 minutes. So the rule would be multiply by 60. So since we're trying to figure out two hours, we would do two times 60. If this was a different number here in front of hours, we would just take whatever the number was and multiply it by 60 because that's our conversion. So the ones that you will need to know for time is that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. 60 second, or sorry, one hour, that should say one hour, is equal to 60 minutes. So that's basically what you should know for 12.8. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.